Hello, welcome YouTube followers and not followers because well maybe you're here for the first time because now it's TC time which we've never had and uh, if you haven't been here before then there's a little button below that uh, says subscribe and you click that and that means you love me so please show me the love okay um, you've heard it already in a track you've heard um, a couple of sounds in the beginning during the beautiful slideshow that I created and um which I shouldn't forget to do later because this is kind of time travel. I'm gonna do it, record it now for so that it already has been in your time, which is wow. Um, so, TC Electronic, we know they have a whole range of really, really cool pedals. Um, obviously, Delays and Chorus and Flange of Hazer. John Petrucci has got his own pedal, and you know John Petrucci, good old friend of mine. Actually, we never met. I've done an album with his singer, James Labrie, which you probably didn't know. Um, from Dream Theater and uh, John and I we've never met we backstage we passed each other but we never actually said hello so hello John Petrucci um, anyway um, they have a great range of pedals and I've always been extremely interested in them because they look cool they uh, the digital ones or the effect pedals they have tone print technology which means as far as I understand is you can plug in a USB cable and download favorite sounds from your favorite artists which allow for more flexibility of the pedal than it has just with the controls, so they can actually access more controls in the back end of the pedal. Um, you can even download those tone prints, as far as I understand, with your cell phone. It beeps into the pickup, kind of like old uh, telephone, telefax, tele beep beep technology, and that goes into the pedal and actually downloads the parameters right in there. They're crazy. So, why do I have this? Well, um, I. It's just a little bit weird. Um, I actually I have more than, I don't know, 300 pedals, which you know by now because we've tested them all. Um, but I really wanted to get my hands on one of those TC pedals, first of all, to show TC Electronic what I can do. And secondly, uh, because I was interested, what's, what's the deal with them? So Toman had one of the analog pedals, the Mojo Mojo Overdrive, uh, for 49 euro. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm just going to buy it, 49 euro. And we'll see what the whole fuzz is about. And the fuzz, the fuzz, it's not a fuzz pedal. The fuzz, with two S, is, uh, that is freaking awesome. Uh, from the presentation in the package with a simple uh, but very cool uh, manual printed on the back, to its sturdiness, a really cool foot switch, which is, which is kind of short but very sturdy, um, bass and treble controls that have a notch in the middle. Thank you people for actually saying notch. In my Thoman video, I was like, I don't know, Mittenrastung, that's the German word, Mittenrastung. Um, and uh, so it's a notch in the middle, so that when you actually reach the middle, you feel there's a little click and it sits in neutral position, which is, I haven't actually had that on any pedal that I've tested. That is very cool. And um, the bass and the uh, treble have that. From its really cool cocoa brown, coffee brown, that's why the coffee. Um, design to uh, the fact that on the um, power, which is on top right here, on top, power input, it says 9 volt DC, blah blah blah, but also it says 40 milliamps. So it shows you it, when you have to add up your pedals and I can put this on and I can put this on, how much does this have? It has 40 milliamps. It's a tiny detail, but it's cool. The feet, which you've seen in the slideshow, are very, very short, but rubbery. So you can put it on a table and a flat surface. But when you put the Velcro on, you don't have to take the feet off and you can never use it again on a flat surface. So that's very well designed and I was extremely impressed. Um, you can battery power it, open the screw up. It's only one screw, you know, take like a Euro piece or something, open up the screw, put the thing in so, uh, the battery in, so in a life situation, you can very quickly access the battery. You don't need a screwdriver, you don't need four screws. Everything design and you can see you can see that musicians are behind this that people who play and who want this kind of functionality in a pedal are behind this right now 50 bucks even if it's a hundred or more this is great from the first moment I took it out plugged it in and this is what we really care about I had fun it had functional sounds everything that I want from a good overdrive from being very very slightly just slightly breaking up to a nice creamy overdrive so let's go into the test, which I apologize, TC, is going to feature uh, your competition heavily because I don't have anything from TC here. I'd love to use your stuff for a TC review, but don't have it here. Wink, wink. Um, so, 
the guitar, obviously TC doesn't make guitars. This is a Quenzel, Quenzel Custom Guitars M3, built for me specifically, all nice mahogany with maple top, maple neck, maple fretboard, maple, maple, maple. It's the M3, Marcus's Maple Monster, um, featuring pickups by Bob Gabriel's Four Season Pickups. That's going into a Hot Tone Wally Looper. Which, yeah, it's pretty much a ditto with a stupid speed knob on it that I don't know what that's for. Um, because it actually detunes... The, I don't know. But I don't have a ditto. So that's what I'm using for some looping. Sorry, TC! Um, going into the Mojo Mojo, which is such a fucking cool name. Um, and that's going into a Strymon Dig, which I just got today. Love my guys from Strymon. But um, obviously TC has beautiful delays, which I could use in a TC review. You know, wink wink, if I had any. So right now we're going through the Strymon Dig, and that's going into the Bandmate 15 by Made by Carl Martin, another Danish company. Isn't TC Danish? T-Rex, Carl Martin and TC Electronic all sitting up there in that tiny country making amazing stuff. What's up with that? Pedal making genes happening up there. So uh, we have Carl Martin goodness, as you can clearly see here. And um, this is uh, going into the Roadie 15, but not this one, it's this one. I've got the stereo set up, but uh, we're only hearing one of them. Being mic'd, it's Class A... Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit nervous. <clears throat> class A, very straightforward sound. I'm getting a little bit of a high-frequency feep out of this one right now. I don't know why. I highly doubt it's the TC pedal. I highly doubt it's the Strymon pedal. It's probably just me. Um... Um, what was I going to say? Class A, straightforward amp, very clean. Here's the clean sound. Oh, that's being mic'd with an SM SM57 going into Universal Audio 710D mic preamp set to solid state so we don't have any true coloration. That's going light pipe into Fireface 800 into a Mac Pro with Cubase 8.2 point bleh, running. Now that's clean, huh? You want it cleaner if I if you see me pushing the tone knob like so, we are on single coil. Which is literally the cleanest sound I've ever heard. So we're gonna engage the pedal in middle position with the voice knob up. I think the voice knob gives you a little bit more bass response. I don't know in what sh in what sh in what situation in what. Bruno, hello. The beagle is going outside. Immediately creamy fatness roundness. Let's go straight into a loop and then we'll twiddle some knobs. Not that one. How about I, you know, play a good one?
I actually think in the up position, the voice knob gives you a little bit more bass response. Uh, but I could be wrong. Um, this amp doesn't have tons of bass. So something went boo boo bing back there. So I uh, fiddle around with it now. Um, that was already pretty, pretty nice. You can see quite a bit of gain, but obviously not into the distortion area. And I love that the uh, bass and the treble knob are even in full up and full down, still in a usable area. Okay, it never goes crazy, it never goes completely unusable. Nice ploppy sound. Let's take the gain out. Let's give it some bass. Let's compare. Let's do this. For open chords with just a little bit of little bit of dirt I would do this okay if I wanted to play a lead sound I would probably do this Let's get some strum and dig on there. to play a lot of very useful sounds worked for me. So, uh, well, here's my two cents. Oh, cappuccino. So good, uh, huh? So, uh, what are you doing all over there? All the way over there? I don't know. It's weird. I don't know if this works. Well, here's the TC Electronic Mojo Mojo. And uh, my two cents on it is that uh, it's awesome. I mean, seriously, from the first moment I got it, I was comfortable with it. It, it 
it impressed me with its build quality, its slightly original shape. As I said, I've, I mean, I'm, I'm coming late to the party. I've never had a TC electronic pedal. The notches on the bass and the treble um, are a very nice detail. The very uh, short... Can you see that? Okay, try to try to really concentrate. The really short feet on the pedal are great because you can put them on a slippery surface and it stays there, but you can put Velcro on it in the middle, I would assume so, and it still sticks while the feet stay on. The, what you can't, why can't you see this? You might need glasses. Fuck, I have to get up now. Mmm, cappuccino. Man. Oh, you two people. The short feet. Can you see how short the feet are? Very nice, huh? It's not it's not focusing on the pedal. And then um the big screw, so life. If you really needed a battery, take a, a coin, open it, put the battery in. Um it's a very, very short but very sturdy looking switch. Um, yeah, I really like the fact that it says the milliamps here. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back now. bottom line uh, the sound it's a round little bit compressed sound it can sound open when you get the drive down a bit but it generally is a a ploppy roundness kind of huh a dense overdrive not a very open overdrive it's a dense overdrive and uh it's it's great for the bluesy stuff uh power cord it, it it can do a million things just if you want the tiniest bit of um uh, crackle or push in your open chords it can do it um with the bass and treble tone controls you have a lot of flexibility the voice knob uh, you can absolutely hear that there's a bass push However, it is possible for Toman to sell these for 49 This might be a thing right now. When you see this video, whenever it is, it might not be sold anymore. It might be at, a, at the previous price, which I actually cannot tell you what it was. Um, so, TC can't be happy about a price of 49 That must be trashing the international price of those two drives. And actually, a student of mine uh, ordered the Dark Matter and had me buy it for him. So that should be arriving in about 30 minutes, but my student's showing up at 4, so I don't know if up to then I can actually pull off to do a whole demo. We'll see. Really curious to see the dark matter. Well, if I can't pull off this one, maybe TC Electronic. TC Electronic, you know. is willing to support my endeavors in advertising them in advert that in advertising for them for freaking free right now you know just send me some freaking pedals i do more demos cuz we all know that i need more pedals okay a killer pedal for an airbox atoman follow my link buy it that gets me some link partner points so i can get more shit from toman and i will see you in the next Fucking video. Way to go, TC. Killer pedal.